Hello everyone, my name is Fatian Zoga, and in this talk I want to present you our extensive experimental study on the effects of downsampling for automated machine learning. Before I go into detail about our findings, I want to provide a brief summary of our key insights. With the ever-increasing amount of data, more and more fields are able to utilize the power of machine learning to solve a variety of tasks. Automated machine learning aims to democratize this even further by repeatedly generating and validating many candidate pipelines at the click of a button. Unfortunately, this process takes a lot of compute power, which scales with the amount of input data. As such, we have extensively studied the effect of downsampling, that is, reducing the amount of rows in the tabular input datasets. We show that by evaluating substantially more pipelines and exploring a different search space, downsampling can improve pipelines' performance. Now let me discuss these points in more detail. First, we define what AutoML tries to solve. For the task of building well-performing machine learning systems, practitioners need to identify relevant algorithms, choose key hyperparameters, and then tune these values for each dataset. As such, automated machine learning systems have propped up which generate, validate, and then rank those pipelines with a given execution time budget. We have focused our evaluation on Teapot, which generates tree-shaped pipelines using a genetic programming-based search. A pipeline can be thought of as a combination of zero more data preparation algorithms, which are then followed by a final estimator. Formally, AutoML does the following. Overall pipelines P in the possible search space S, it chooses the one that achieves the best evaluation score on the test data after fitting the pipeline on the training set. This is done under the constraint that the cost over all evaluated pipelines stays within a given budget. We've chosen Teapot, as its underlying evolutionary framework seems to improve with more generations. The pipelines of the random initial population are optimized and produced through mutation and crossover operations. As the pipeline search space is practically limitless, significant computational resources and time are needed. We have thus evaluated one approach to alleviate this challenge, downsampling the dataset prior to executing the search. Given a sampling ratio of 0.1 and 5-fold cross-validation, we do the following for each iteration. We first downsample the 20-fold using the sampling ratio of 10%. This 8% of the whole dataset we then use to run our AutoML search and obtain the final best pipeline and this pipeline is then fit on the full training fold, aka 80% of the data, and finally evaluated on the disjoint test set, which is the remaining 20% of the data. Before we go on to the results, I'd like to briefly touch upon the methodology. We have analyzed 20 classification datasets, primarily consisting of medium to large datasets of up to 1 million samples. These were chosen through OpenML, DARPA, D3M, and we also took a sample of the popular criteria dataset. The goal of our experiments is to provide empirical evidence of the impact the downsampling may have on genetic programming-based AutoML. We investigate key properties such as predictive performance, runtime performance, fundamental pipeline properties such as the length and distribution of apparatus, as well as the impact of different search spaces. For all the results, we report maker average F1 test score. All in all, our experiments took eight weeks of, of straight compute time using a 56-core server. We first look at the effect that downsampling has on predictive performance and execute the AutoML search with an execution budget of 5 minutes per cross validation fold. Our results show that downsampling can actually improve performance compared to performing AutoML search on the full dataset. Only two datasets achieved their best scores when using the full training fold. There is a clear divide between the small datasets above the horizontal line with less than 10k samples and the large datasets below with 50k to 1 million samples. For the small datasets, 3 out of 4 perform best with a downsampling ratio of 0.5. Traditionally, it is the case that longer AutoML searches are more likely to find better performing pipelines. To analyze if this is also the case when downsampling, we increase the per cross validation fold time budget to 60 minutes. We show the results of the downsampling ratio that perform best for each dataset as seen on the left half and the full sampling ratio results on the right. We note F1 scores, as well as the amount of export pipelines, and omit dataset 12, which fail to compete after multiple execution attempts. When downsampling, we can obtain slightly higher performance when increasing the time budget to 60 minutes. There are four datasets where these improvements are larger. For the full dataset without downsampling, running for 60 minutes can also increase scores, as seen on some examples here. However, the best per score still performs worse than the 5 minute search on the optimal sampling ratio for 15 out of, of, of 19 set datasets. Of those remaining four, three have less than 10,000 samples. Interestingly, there are cases 
where the 5 minute search with the optimal sampling ratio is better than the full 60 minute one, even though it explores more pipelines. We believe this supports a hypothesis that the benefits of downsampling do not only stem from the increase in explored pipelines, but are rooted in deeper dataset characteristics. We repeated the experiments for the four datasets with the largest performance improvement under the best downsampling ratio and ran them again for 4 and 10 hours. Increasing the time budget 10 hours marginally increases the performance compared to the 1 hour results when downsampling. For the full data experiments, the improvements are larger. However, for all four datasets, we find that the optimally sampled 5 minute pipeline performs better than the one produced by a 4 hour search on the full dataset. For 3 out of 4 datasets, this still holds true for the 10 hour time budget. To add upon this and investigate the effect downsampling has on the pipeline composition, we have analyzed over 480,000 pipelines with more than 920,000 operators. Calculating the amount of operators per pipeline, we see that downsampling enables the search procedure to consider more complex pipeline architectures, as indicated by the pipeline length. Downsampling to 1% leads to an average length of 1.94, while the search on the full dataset on average has a length of 1.6. In this figure, we have visualized the frequencies of the top 5 most frequent predicted components for each sampling ratio. This corresponds to the only 8 operators as seen on the top. Interestingly, our results show that the relative frequency for these operator ranges more widely when we use more aggressive downsampling, while at higher sampling ratios, components appear with more similar frequency. This may suggest that the choice of predictor becomes increasingly less important as the dataset size grows. To analyze the impact of the search space covered by downsampling compared to searching with a full dataset, we carried out the following experiment. On the left, we run the AutoML search with a 5 minute budget on downsample training data. This gives us the best pipeline that is found to the original downsample data, searched and ranked according to the downsample. The full lines on the left visualize this. We then take all the available pipelines and rank them according to the full training world. This can be seen in the dashed lines, which show the score of the pipeline that was searched with the downsample data and then chosen as the best one on the remaining training data. After the respective ranking, we refit the pipelines on the full training data prior to evaluating them on the disjoint test data. On the right, we carry out the variant where we run the search on the full dataset. The circle here shows the best pipeline ranked on the full dataset, while the lines represent the best pipelines ranked on the respective depth downsampling ratios. Here, we see that ranking pipeline candidates using the downsampled dataset versus the full dataset produces similar performance. Meanwhile, downsampled pipeline generation appears to produce higher performing candidates overall when we compare the scores from left to right. This provides support to the hypothesis that the downsampled search is exploring a fundamentally different part of the search space. Looking at the left, we also see that, except for the lowest sampling ratio, there is not a big difference between using the full or the downsampled dataset for ranking. To summarize, We've performed an extensive empirical investigation into the use of downsampling to scale genetic programming based AutoML to larger datasets. We have shown that downsampling can improve pipeline performance. What is more, choosing the optimal downsampling ratio seems to be a better choice than simply increasing the time budget. The table on the right shows the amount of times the downsample slash full data run performed better. From a practical point of view, Downsampling between 0.01 and 0.2 of the dataset appears to provide the biggest improvements. As such, we suggest users of genetic programming based AutoML to perform searches with ratios in this range and then compare the results to a full data search. The pipelines found through the downsampled search may further aid in restricting the model and hyperparameter search. We have released our experimental dataset and provide our code to reproduce the results. Thank you for your attention.